Hey everybody, this is Mr. McKee again with SEC 210. Today I'm going to be going over uh, the lab 3.3.13, which is monitor and manage system resources in Windows. All right, um, I'm going to shortcut through a lot of this stuff. All right, part one is going to be starting and stopping the routing and remote access service. You explore what happens when the service is stopped and then started. In this part, you will use routing and remote access service as, a, as the example service. This service allows the local device to become a router or a remote access server. Navigate to control panel and then click networking and sharing center. So I'm using my NetLabs um, virtual machine. So hopefully you guys can see that fairly good. I'm going to go down to search, type in control. First thing that comes up should be control panel. All right. Now the best way to do this is go up to view by that's set to uh, category. Just click on uh, small icons. All right, and then click networking and sharing center. All right, that comes up. All right, click change adapter settings right here on the left. All right, you'll probably only have one of these. I have four because I have VirtualBox and VMware installed also. All right, so let's see. Reduce the size of this window a little bit. Actually, for what we're doing, let's leave it a little bit bigger. Place it down there. Go back. Go to administrative tools. All right, we want to go to performance monitor. All right, open that up. Okay, in the performance monitor, make sure performance monitor under monitoring tool heading in the left pane is highlighted. Right, so highlight that. Performance monitor, it looks like a graph. It comes up. All right. Click the freeze display, which is right here, the pause button. All right. Right click on the graph and select clear. All right, so nothing's on there. Leave the window open. All right, go back to, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's go back to, whoops, let's go back to administrative tools. Select services. All right, services opens up. Expand the width of the services window so that you have a clear view of the content, which is going to be hard for me to do that in this little screen I got. But basically, we just need to know the name and the startup type for what we're doing. All right. Scroll down. Everything's in alphabetical order currently. So remote. Let's see. Routing and remote access right here. Notice it says disabled. Double click that. All right. And in the remote routing and remote access properties local computer, which we're on right now, notice the window, uh, the start type download field, which is disabled, select manual for that. All right, and click apply. And if you don't click apply, it, it's not going to uh, ungray that start button. All right, the start button is now active. Do not click the start button yet. Leave the window open. All right, and then navigate back to the performance monitor, and notice it's like a it looks like a little gauge on the task man, the taskbar. All right, unfreeze display, which is the play button. All right, click the routing and remote access properties local computer window. Click the start button. All right, it'll start. All right, now it should have a stop and a pause button un, ungrayed out. Navigate to network connections, which is the one of these. Let's see. This one right here. All right. Notice we have an incoming connections, network connection that popped up. So what changes in the window after starting the remote, remote, routing and remote access service? Do you see? All right, navigate to routing and remote access properties window and click the stop button. So stop. 
All right. And it says, note if the stop is grayed out, click apply to change the service status. This is going to take a minute to stop. Navigate to uh, network connections. Notice what disappeared. All right, so which changes, which changes appear in the right pane after stopping? And I'm assuming that it's talking about just these right here. All right, so that's what they're talking about. What changes that appear in the right pane? It's talking about the one change that appeared here. You're missing something now that, that did appear when we hit the start button. All right, so just to explain that. All right, navigate to uh, Performance Monitor or Perfmon and click the Freeze Display to stop recording. You notice it was picking up something, but let me go up a little bit. Looks like processor time. Which counter is being recorded the most in the graph? All right, notice that. As a matter of fact, the only thing that's being recorded in there. Click the change graph type over here. All right, change it to report. And notice we got a report view. What values are displayed by the counter? All right, that's all we get right there. All right, click the routing and remote access properties local computer. And probably the easiest way to navigate, I've got a bunch of windows open, but if you look down here, you have one icon, which is all three of those um, things we opened up from administrative tools, or actually a bunch of stuff from the control panel, but that Perfmon or Performance Monitor and Services. So if you just click that, we want to stop the. Oh, can I see it? Uh, it's not like me see it. No, it's not let me see the one the one I wanted, it wouldn't let me see it. Okay. So start type now to disable. Alright, click OK. I was trying to help y'all out, but it wouldn't help me out very much. Alright, click the services window, which I'm on right now. What is the status and startup type for routing and remote access? Status, notice blank. Start type disabled, so it will not start. All right, click the performance monitor window right there. Click the unfreeze display. Start the recording. Close all the windows you opened during step one in this lab. All right, so that's going. I'm going to close every one of these. All right, so we're starting over from fresh. All right. So working with computer management utility. Computer management is used to man, uh, manage a local remote computer. The tools in this utility are grouped into three categories, system tools, storage, and services, and applications. Click control panel. So let's go back to control panel. And if I can type and spell, there we go. OK. Click administrative tools. All right. Select computer management. All right, so the computer management window opens up. In the computer management window, expand the three categories by clicking the arrows next to the system tools. You see it's already, it's already expanded. All right, so system tools, storage is already open, and services and applications. Uh, all right, everything's open now. All right, click the arrow next to Event Viewer. All right, so it opens up Event Viewer. Uh, then click the arrow next to Windows Logs. So click that arrow, Windows Logs is there. Notice we have a bunch of events. All right, select system. Now I'm going to double click it. 
and we have a whole bunch of stuff here. All right. So the events properties window opens for the first event. All right, click the down arrow key to locate the event for remoting, routing remote access. And notice the one they're looking for is the start type of the routing remote access service, which changed from disable to demand start. So we kind of want to. Here, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. All right, so the one more clicked on right now is the start type for the remote routing remote access service was changed. Was changed from demand start to disabled. So we're looking for a different one. So let's click this one. this change from disabled to to demand start. All right, so that's the one we're looking at. See how it's like to the fourth one down. All right, notice the VIN ID 7040, 7040. I wish I could make this a little bit bigger, but since I'm using NetLabs, it's hard to. What are the descriptions for each of the four events? Wait. Event properties window open the first event. It's talking about the remote access events. All right, so the, that one, this one, there's a couple of them. All right, where are the descriptions for each of the four events? You guys can look through there and uh, see what it shows, but pretty much the service type of this routing remote access service was changed to from demand start to disabled. All right, and notice this is chronological, so that was the most recent one. Remote Access Connection Manager. Let's get to that one. The start type, which uh, from the routing remote access service was changed from disable to demand start. There should be some more in there. But pretty much we changed from, we changed the, the service from demand start to disabled and from disabled to demand start. All right. And since that's kind of hard to, to see, you, you guys can uh, describe those two events that you saw me do. But if you look down through here, I'm getting a bunch of events because this machine's running. But that, that'd that be fine. All right. Close all open windows and continue on. All right. So for the rest of the lab, you will configure administrate, uh, advanced administrative tool features and monitor how this affects the computer. So go to the control panel. Administrative Tools, Performance Monitor. You actually close these down. Hopefully, I won't need them. All right. The Performance Monitor window opens. Expand Data Collector Sets, which is right here on the left. Right click the user defined and select New Data Collector Set.
And when the window opens, name the field memory logs. All right, select the create uh, manually advanced radio button and click next. And what type of data do you want to include? Window, check the performance counter and then click next. All right. In which performance counters would you like to log? Click the add. In the list of available counters located in, in expand memory. So it's alphabetical. Right there, expand it. Available megabytes. Right there. Go and click add. All right, build no megabytes are listed on the add added counters column. Click OK. All right. So sample interval four seconds. Click next. All right. And then where would you like the data to be saved screen, which I'm at right now. Click browse. And looks like we're going to put it on the C drive. Let's see if I can find it. All right. C drive. Where did it go? C drive, perf logs. Right there. All right. Click to OK. Where would you like the data to be saved? Window opens the directory information that you selected in the previous step. Click Next. And then create the data collector set. Screen. All right, click finish. All right, notice memory logs shows up. All right, expand user defined and select memory logs. Right, and select uh, right click the data collector one, go to properties. All right, and the data collector ones are data collectors are one properties window. Change the log format right here, it has binary. Change it to comma separated. All right, click the file tab, which is up there. What is the full path name in the example file? It's right there. All right, click OK. And select memory logs icon on the left pane of the performance monitor window. Click the green arrow. All right. Icon to start the data collection set. Right there. Notice the green arrow is placed on top of the memory logs icon. Notice right there. Looks like a little play button with a circle around it. All right. To force the computer to use some of the available memory, open and close a browser. Close that. Click the black square. Let's see. All right, click the black square right there. What change did you notice for the memory logs icon? You notice something went away. All right, let's go to start computer. I never go to stuff like this. 
start computer. That's so weird. How about we go to Oh, I guess you can do it like that. I just click on Windows Manager. All right, so go to C drive, perf logs. All right, if prompted, click yes, permit access to this folder. All right, and you should see, let's see, locate the folder that starts with the PC's name, followed by the timestamp, which is right there. And double click that will open it up. All right, double click the .csv file in there. All right. Let's see, it's opening it with Notepad, so I'm going to choose Notepad. All right. So, what does the column farthest to the right show? So, it looks like we have a. A date, year. Uh, month, day, year, timestamp. It shows you all right, so basically all it's showing you is time in Eastern Daylight Time all right right there and then it's showing you available megabytes right here so two fields that one and separated by a comma and that one All right, close this file uh, in the perfmon folder. Select the performance monitor window. All right, right click the memories log. Click delete. Be sure you want to do it. Yes. Open the C drive <coughs> perfmon perf, perf logs folder. Right click the folder that was created, which was this one. Delete that. Uh, close all windows and you're done. All right, so in here, if you have an older version of this, um, the instructions, actually there was seven uh, questions that I, I labeled in the beginning. I actually found out that there's nine. I missed two of them. So go ahead and fill those questions out and submit that. I know I haven't I required any uh, screenshots yet but just um just remember screenshots are probably the best way i can um know that you're understanding this or not so i mean just like these i've been through it but a screenshot like that shows me a whole bunch of information but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video